Howdy everybody. So it's been a long while. Uh, but today's a good day to show you what's going on around the farm. It uh, is really wet, really muddy around here. We had uh, storms come through here, which on the cold front, it, it was snowing yesterday. It just didn't stick because uh, it did warm up, but we were having snow, hail, wind, rain, of course rain. And uh, yeah, it's a total mess around here. Anyway, we got four too many roosters we're going to have to get rid of. And then we have one little chicken all by herself. Little Missy. She's doing better. She's not really eating her food. Look at that. She's got a pile of food. Won't be feeding her today. Well, I already fed the chickens for the morning. But uh, I don't know if you can see, but her back's pretty torn up. And at first I thought it was from the roosters, but um, I saw feathers everywhere. And it looks like my dog got a hold of her. But she got away. Her dog's name Willow. I'm not sure why my video stopped, but it did. Okay, so she's here by herself. She's healing, getting better. Yeah. And then we got a couple of turkeys. Yep, he's been in the mood today. We had a let four guys show up earlier today. And I'll show you why they showed up. We have a the missus. She takes off. I think she's uh, laying an egg somewhere. We haven't found out where she's taken off to. I'm thinking out back there somewhere over the fence into the neighbor's area, we think. Um, this was a, this was where we had meat chickens a few years back and then the, the tree fell on it and we haven't fixed it. Hmm. I don't understand. It stopped again, but now it's being taken over by briars. So the hens are laying in. Last year, this white one was a broody chicken, so I hope she becomes a broody chicken this year. We had a larger flock last summer, but we had a couple of bald eagles come into the neighborhood. They're still around. But so far, we've kept our flock of 10 hens and uh, we have four roosters the other three other four no we have five roosters the other five were hatched and she uh, sat on them I really gotta figure out why it keeps stopping that doesn't make sense it is recording so I came out earlier to Get the eggs and uh, I got some roosters <laughs> bothering the hens. What do we got? Oh, geez. Um, she's laying her, yeah. So it's been a while. <laughs> I, I'm thinking three days, but I found another spot where they were laying up by the hay bales and it was the same chicken they're all the same color kind of a olive colored egg uh, these look dirtier than they actually are they're really not that dirty <laughs> I don't know why it's just nuts huh so I think this is going to go off in a 
for the minute, but I really don't know why. So anyway, I'm going to gather these eggs, and then we shall go to the area where the guys were here. I'll be right back. I'll show you this. This is where our little orchard area is. We're doing a, I don't know what you call it, but we have like a triangle of three. Uh, maybe like three plums, three peaches, three, what else we got? Cherries, no apples. Um, but we have in bunches of three, and we're not going to let them grow super tall. You know, about seven feet tall. Let's see, who taught us that? It's the same company. Uh, well, it doesn't want to focus. Wish it would, because I can't read it. <laughs> Anyway, it's their company that showed us how to do it for, uh, you know, small hobby type farms, not for the big giant orchards. So we don't have to do the same things the same way. And we kept, <laughs> we took out a bunch of trees last summer, and uh, for some reason my husband decided to keep this cottonwood here. Don't know. <laughs> Next. So like I said... We had been having a lot of rain, snow, hail. Anyway, this is <laughs> the area where we keep our pigs. I'm sorry. It's such a mess. I, I don't like it myself, but we got these guys when they're six weeks old. So they're growing. And then we have three others over there. We have a boar, two sows. Uh, that we're hoping are pregnant. And then this morning while I was going to go collect eggs, I heard a bunch of squealing. And we we're, were, we're expecting to have piglets. And my husband was hoping they'd wait until the weekend. Today's Thursday. Uh, they didn't wait. They were born this morning. So we had some guys come over because my husband is in Puyallup. He's doing a job over there. He's a surveyor. And uh, so they came over to fence off. I don't want to bother her. To fence off this area. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, a fence area. They blocked it off. And this is where the house is. And look at him. Isn't she a cutie? Anyway, this sow had... I don't want to get her mad too riled up but she had 10 10 piglets she's getting and you can't see in there anyway she's got 10 so that's what happened this morning wow and I think uh, one of these Sal's is the mother of these three piglets, but I don't know which one. So our plan is to sell the piglets when they get old enough. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I think that's going to be our breeding stock. I'm not sure. Actually, I, we want to trade in for a different breed. The I don't oh, pasture pig, I think. I want a cuter look, looking pig, <laughs> but not the Cooney Coonies because we also want more meat. All right, so that's what happened this morning. Such a mess. I'll take you down to the next area. So here's our other uh, family members here. We have a Dexter, not ours. 
we're keeping it here because she, the person who had, owns it, had to move. And she was trying to find out if she was pregnant or not. We don't think she is. So she needs to come and find a place for it. We have this little red cow. Uh, not sure what breed she is. She was really tiny. Uh, that one's ours. This one belongs to someone else. Uh, they couldn't keep this one in their fence. They kept jumping. This is part Aber I mean, um, what do you call it? Not Aberdeen. Uh, oh. So this little girl and this one are our Aberdeen bowline. They are both pregnant. We're expecting them to have, have their babies in June or end of May. This little one over here, another, God, what are they called? What's that face? See this face? <laughs> I can't think what they're called. Um, Anyway, this one, so this one still needs to grow up some. I can't think of the breed. Uh, it's actually a mix. It's a, a, well, one of them is. I think the one that's not ours. Is it that one? It's a Holstein and the other breed. Oh, I can't believe I can't remember it. So they have an acre here, and uh, they've knocked over some trees, and the wind's taken down some trees, and uh, we're hoping maybe this weekend, look at this, look at this, I'm trying to uh, uh, show who's boss, we'll get some of these trees taken out. They have a lot of area where they go hide out in. We don't want to take all the trees out, but we'll see because they've been eating the bark too, so these trees are going to die too. But lots of rain. I just want the grass to grow. Get it all pretty for them. But look, and these guys are little, look, these guys, they have the full size meat, but they have little tiny legs. Even though she's buried up to her ankles. Yeah. So this one's Holstein and... Ah, what is the other breed? Angus. No. Yeah, Angus. Yes. Angus. That's what these guys are. But these are low line. From uh, Scotland. So we have two of them. So those that's the breed we want to raise because they produce the same amount of meat, but uh, they eat less. They're grass, grass uh, feeders, so you don't have to feed them grain in the winter or anything. Um, and they give birth really easy. They're really uh, docile. see that Dexter I mean he just or she it's just not as beefy as these guys huh that one's registered this one is not even though it's uh, full-blooded this one was done AI and the breeder we bought these after they were pregnant uh, didn't did not get the uh, mom registered so this one can't be registered, but that one's registered. So that's our plan. And our plan is also to move. We're thinking Arkansas, maybe Missouri, maybe Oklahoma. Right now, after the storms we've had, 
I've had some co-workers that moved to Arkansas and it's like, oh my gosh, they've had some storms over there. Our cold air pushed over there with their warm air. You know how that is, I guess, every, every spring. All right, I'm guys. I'm done. Those are our animals. So, yep, we'll plan on raising uh, pigs, chickens, and cows. So we're looking for some more acreage. I still have three years before I can retire. We'll see. <laughs> Bye-bye for now.